Music in many forms provided the background ambience at the Celebration of Life Memorial event for the internationally renowned Rasta doctor Carlton Fraser. This is Roving Roots reporter Aija Balani Tafari reporting from the Pyramid at Forest Lawn Memorial Gardens in Davie, Florida, which was the venue for the celebration of Dr. Fraser's exemplary life. Affectionately known as Pee Wee by one and all, Jamaica's first bona fide Rastafari medical doctor was hospitalized in South Florida when he passed on to the African ancestors on November 21, 2021. He was 74 years old. Dr. Pee Wee Fraser is survived by four sons, four daughters and 11 grandchildren. One can only imagine how many hundreds of people more would have been in attendance were it not for the ongoing restrictions resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic. As it was, face masks were the order of the day for the musicians and entertainers, footballers and athletes, medical peers and former patients, as well as diplomats and politicians from far and wide who all attended the memorial service. The live-streamed event on Saturday, December 18, 2021, also brought together his extended family, close friends, business associates, and Rastafari brethren and sistren from near and far. Everyone there had a personal story to tell about the good deeds of Dr. Pee Wee, so I spoke with some of those in attendance. I had four children, man. That was my personal doctor. I never take a cent from me. I don't know. Oh boy, Mr. Fraser, Dr. Fraser, Pee Wee Fraser. I was supposed to be a footballer in Jamaica. So I used to, yeah, Dr. Fraser. The last match I played with him was against Jack Ruby. He was playing for Jack Ruby, and I was playing for Tough Dog International. They beat us 2 1. <laughs> So that man is just an extraordinary person. That man was like Jesus. That they read about in the Bible. That man was a great man, man. So I'm here to pay respect to him. I had to. So that's what I have to say. As a general surgeon, Dr. Pee Wee used new techniques like bi digital O ring testing, acupuncture, body ironing trips, and other alternative methods of medicine to holistically and successfully treat his many patients. He is credited with saving countless lives and with providing solace to thousands more. Say a few words about Pee Wee for me, please. No, Pee Wee is one of the greatest doctor ever lived. Like I said, he's always willing to learn. And hardly any doctor right now willing to learn. And he listened to anybody. And because of that, and living with him, he encouraged me and he built me the person who I am right now. You know, and I have a lot of champions that I coach, including Michael Freita, Beverly McDonald, Dean Hemmings, a lot of those top athletes. I start them out. I got a kid just broke the world record, Thomas. You know, I start them out. And it's all true. The help of Dr. Carlton Fraser, without a doubt. He must also bring up the Rastafarians them from the hills who never used to go to hospital. He make sure said the one them come from out of the hills and come to the hospital. That's that's what PV does. And we have to respect that and I hope Jamaica can honor him. Because what they do, they wait till somebody dead, then them start talking all the good. No, at least honor him. Give thanks. Give thanks. Pee Wee. I read about the doctor. Yes, sir. He's my longtime friend. And whenever a dozen men pass, like Pee Wee, a great guy with all these um, helping power that he has issued, it reminds me of myself. So that's why I feel so good about him that when he leaves, his friends could be around him. That's how valuable he is. To show his value, his friend is here with him. And that's a world of a value that a man could, friends could be there when the man is gone down. Thank you very much. And my name is Dr. Slice. And I always be frying dumplings and making juices for Pee Wee. 
ever since he was a young man. And to I and I and I and I. And to us. Yes. Yes, and to all the friends of his. That was a great man, Ras, and that come here to serve and protect and keep the people and didn't take any paper for his work. But at the same time, I love him and give thanks. And I'm there with the same way. Love that. I can't believe that you're gone hurt, but it's hurt and life. And you're always in our eye and I heart. And you is one of the special men in my job bring come Jack Monsley. And you serve the whole world. Not only Jamaica, the world. And thousands of people and didn't take anything for your work. But love and peace and protection. Doc is somebody where he's an angel in disguise. You understand me? Enough man really don't know, say, Joseph. Them always are show her after Joseph. See? And him doing part and father ready for him. And, you know, we, 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 we understand eventually. You understand? I hate that. Then I say no more. Give them. Okay. Um, I wanted to talk earlier, but I was just too scared. But I want to say how I met you. I was at HQ one Sunday. We had a meeting. And my young daughter was very sick. And he didn't know me from anyone else. He came, he examined her, and he gave me a prescription. But I was so broke, I didn't have money to pay for it. So I went and I sat down in the corner. It wasn't even a half an hour later. A virgin came and brought me the medicine. So I paid me, started giving me this medicine. I paid didn't give me the moment that he was that good a person. So giving and so kind. That he went and brought my baby that he didn't know medicine. And I will always love that man. God bless his soul. So Thank you. Thank you. You want to tell a word? Yes, greetings and love and blessings. Dr. Carl Fraser, gone too soon. He was my brother, love, friend, mentor, everything, you know. But Rastafari sent him and him did him work and he, the work and journey is over and he has decided to take from us a blessing. Rastafari, love and guide. Sleep in eternal power, brother, love. Yes, sir. During the service, the Consul General of Jamaica, Oliver Mayer, read a special message of tribute from Jamaica's Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport, Olivia Babsy Grange, who was unable to attend in person. Indeed, everyone there had a tribute of their own. I'm a qualified virgin man. A man is a man where not only talk about medical things, but him teach about life. Good advisor. And he will be missed, you know. But his legacy lives on, you know good person. As them said, many of the tributes said, sometimes in them not, somebody for no money, just help people. You know? He's something special, someone very special, and we love him. All right? He's not going to be of Earl Wyalindo, the great organist. See? I mean, I'm a virgin of Ochi. When Pee Wee graduated from school and got Ochi sent on, I'm a virgin bunny up that smoke cigarette regular. I'm hearing Pee Wee look at him and tell him, say, listen, bunny, get two leaf of Kalalo and squeeze an orange in it and drink that for nine mornings straight. All of the pain, Bonnie stopped smoke cigarette from that day until now. I'm usually there at Bagaloo Yard mm -hmm. when Pee Wee come check Bagaloo Yard, Richmond Park. And everything when me know from the man them and gather from them, me teach that to my youth. Them. Uh, great work, you know. Uh, 
I say a word about Pee Wee for my birthday. Pee Wee? Yes. I always fun up Pee Wee, you know. It's rewarding to talk to Pee Wee. Every time I talk to Pee Wee, it reminds me of him critical understanding of anatomy and physiology. And his great compassion for his majesty. And I want to tell you something. With Sister Marcy. Sister Marcy. Yeah. Okay. With she, I tell you, there's one connection. You know, Marcy, because I visit pretty much so often and hear Doc sit down and tell you his greatest task in life is to repair a man, not to maintain him. You understand me? So, again, brethren, I know that Doc understands the tie of blood amongst mankind. So he was not here to fight flesh and blood. Because every man deserves the right of that kind of care and that exercise equally. So Joseph just transfer right now. Death is a shadow of life. I walk through the valley of shadow of death. I don't know death. Joseph live on. Man. You know, it was, a, it was an honor knowing Dr. Fraser and the way how he treated the players, the way how he came into the program, his selfless, caring, his, 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 his humility was just amazing. And in him he lives. And as, as, as Tosh says, stand firm and let your works be seen. And I think Dr. Fraser, Dr. Fraser exemplifies that. And, and how much he loved the football. And that is the connection. Oh, oh no, man. Football was, was his life. You know, I think if he wasn't a doctor, he would have been a, a professional football player. He was, he was just incredible. And it wasn't just serving at the national level. Because right through the parish, you know, right through Jamaica, he, w he would serve. And, and wherever he is, and you call him, to see a footballer, or when a footballer had a situation, many youth had their medicals to go back to schools done by him, free of cost. He was just an incredible human being. Brilliant man, um, professional, one of the greatest in the world, who served the poor and, you know, they, they, they stand up for the, the, the oppressed and feed the people while before him give them a medication and make sure they have food. You know what I mean? That's the far right. So. I am honored today to be here at the transition and the passing of our dear friend, brother, Dr. Pee Wee Fraser. I've known him for many, many years. We have shared so many memorable moments around the world at different events and tours and everything. You know, he advised me a lot about my medical condition when I have any kind of problem and he's always there. Not because of money, he just do it from the love of his heart. So we're gonna miss you, um, Pee Wee. You know, long live your, your, your work, your contribution, and may you live in our memories forever, Jagai. See you later. So I've been to say something about Doc. Uh, please. Oh what my Doc gosh, he's the you. most compassionate, caring individual. And full with understanding and love. You know? And what have you would say? The world has lost a great one. You know, but I guess it was time for him to go home. And look at this, as we say, it's time for him. After the memorial service inside the Davy, Florida Pyramid, everyone moved outside into the Forest Lawn Memorial Gardens for the interment of Brother Joseph, as he was called in the 12 tribes of Israel. The multi-genius Imhotep, the legendary Egyptian father of medicine, would have undoubtedly been very proud of Dr. P. V. Fraser's work rate and his record of medical excellence, which the testimonials of all those in attendance attested to. P. V. I'm a bridging from high school days, you know, school, you know. I was at camp and he was at Woolmers. I would meet at Farmy restaurant in the evening time. Uh, my, my family and my friend them always meet there, so we gathered here after football game and all that. So, and then, you know, my uncle became an ass trainer and Pee Wee got involved in the ass business too. And so, I used to go to the stables with him. After I deal with my uncle and female ass, then I got Pee Wee stable and deal with the ass then. And 
and I, and I was visiting Jamaica about 2000, and mosquito them was eating my three year old son alive, and no kidding, and was all swelling up with allergic reactions and things. It was like close to midnight, and his mother asked me to take him to the hospital, and I said, no, we're not going to get out of the hospital, no. I called, I called Doc Pee Wee, he said, come to the office. I got to the office. I remember, why I remember it, there was Officer Lane lying there getting an IV nutrient, you know? And he woke up and pulled a pistol at me and he asked me, what you do? I'm a bridge in that from foreign, just behave yourself. And he put on him going and said, okay, all right, not good to meet you, you know? So, and I don't realize they're not really still not like Rastaman, even all them years me leave Jamaica. So, however, when I finished, I said to Doc, when he finished, I said, Doc, how much I owe you? Doc said, who me? What are you talking about? You know, so your son come in crying and look how him happy, grabbing at me at Doc and playing with him and laughing. So look how your son happy now. So that's what, that was it, you know. And Doc said, you know, woman, me not, man. I'll try to give him something. I think I might have screeched around and paid the nurse something, but Doc never want no money. I just said, stay. Uh, met him in med school when I was in med school in Montreal at McGill University and he really inspired me and then of course started sharing office with him over on Maxfield Avenue for many years and boy I, I was just inspired by the way he could work and work hard and his knowledge and of course that became my patient too uh, a few years later and I was so proud to take care of him. And uh, he remained a, a good, loyal patient until now. And um, always keeping in touch. But the inspiration and the mentorship he gave me in my career and path in medicine, I will never forget because Doc was, um, Joseph was, was just an, an angel, an angel. His staff loved him so much. Even the owners of the building where he kept the office, loved him so much because that's the kind of guy he was. Everybody loved him. And medicine, surgery has lost a great stalwart because he was a true surgeon and a true physician. Yes. As in the beginning, so it was at the end, when music and drums and chanting once again provided the appropriate background ambience for the bittersweet memorial proceedings. hands of the healer are the hands of God, so it is said. Clearly, many people have been touched by divinity in the person of Dr. Pee Wee. It is also said that the voice of the people is the voice of God, and in this instance, the words of humanity and the voice of divinity are of one accord, as they proclaim in Dr. Pee Wee Fraser's honor, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. On behalf of the Roots Foundation family, I and I send our condolences to the family, friends and associates of Dr. Carlton P. W. Fraser. This is Ijabalani Tafari reporting from the Pyramid in Florida. <laughs>